do my lung, do my lung, boom myself. I hope you guys are good. Yeah, I'm in another electric car. <laughs> This week I'm in the Mercedes-Benz EQB 350 and wow, very impressive actually, I won't even lie, quite impressive. So you know the drill, we're gonna do the outside, the inside and then I'll let you know all about it, so keep it up. is a fully electric vehicle based on the mercedes-benz glb which i drove a while back i think the review still on the channel is i drove it i think last year or yeah so it's basically a glb that just went electric right so it's dubbed the eqb and this is the 354 matic right um it has two electric motors and the combined power output is 140 kilowatts and 370 newton meters of torque which is quite punchy and quite ugh, you know because when you put your foot down it really does move you know very silent obviously because it's electric and yeah so i do enjoy this one better than i did the eqa um, i found the eqa to be a bit like luster and very underwhelming but this is quite nice um so it's it's this between this and the ix3 i would be very torn but i probably will go for ix3 just because of ix3 looks a bit more conventional this one looks wise i guys i don't think it's cute i'm sorry i love the glb but this is not the cutest it's not really pretty i don't think it, it, it looks great but obviously because of how unorthodox it is it demands a lot of attention on the roads and stuff like that so yeah it's yeah yeah <laughs> yeah so i i did enjoy it i enjoy my time with it um charging also was quite as seamless you know i made sure horiki how fee i charged by the vdc um in rosslyn or i charged in mainland or i charged by montana so i go to various places and i did a lot of uh, planning and making sure that um i get my charging things right um so obviously because we're in stage six load shedding everyone is skeptical everyone is anxious like yo Reba, like how the hell are we supposed to live with these cars when load shedding hits and whatever and to be honest i don't have the i don't have the answers for you yet you know um i really don't have the answers yet but you can you can literally live with it you can i mean you get a full charge range of about 399 to 400 k's um which is true to range all also it's all dependent on how you drive as a as a driver so i did enjoy it um few things that i don't like about the eq eqb i don't like the way it looks outside um obviously mercedes always complain about the plasticky interior i mean i'm paying one almost 1.4 million rand and this the, this interior is so plastic right but i do like it um boot space is also quite decent um yeah i mean that's kind of it when it comes to this electric car um i mean for 1.4 million is it worth it if we're moving into that space now and would you buy it i don't know it's all up to you but currently if i had 1.4 million rand in my bank account i'd probably just get a c-class i've been saying c-class i think for now from mercedes is the best offering currently because you do get the mild hybrid you get a thousand kilometer range it's cheaper than an electric vehicle you don't have to charge it so honestly they've gotten it right the electric cars are great whatever seamless but currently i think the best thing that a person can do is buy a c-class with that kind of money you cut you go home with an odd 300 200k you change you can buy a baleno or something i guess <laughs> so how does the eqb drive it's nice 
it's nicer than the EQA, significantly nicer, a bit smoother. You know, in electric vehicles, you don't have gears. So you just have one constant gear. So there's no one, two, three, four, five, six. No, it's just one constant gear. Um, so you kind of don't feel much of a driving dynamic, but it's nice. Like, I mean, steering is okay. It's quite nimble on steering. It does feel a bit heavy sometimes when you're turning and braking like I'm doing now. I'm turning, braking, or turning into a corner. Like it feels a bit heavy, like it feels like front heavy, like the front is laden. But it really is a nice seamless and quiet drive, you know? Um, so I really think the drive is commendable. In terms of the interior also, I really think that it's cool. I do kind of have my quarrels in terms of the plastics in Mercedes and it's something that I've been chatting about for the longest of time. The plastics are no they they can't give us plastics of this quality especially at the price point this vehicle is looking or is asking is asking for almost 1.4 million rand and the plastics in here are just there also one thing i don't like is the fact that adaptive cruise control and lane keep assist are extras if i'm paying 1.4 million rand yo even the wall box that you need to install I be mahala. these things are standard in cars that are like flipping cheaper man like you can you get lane keeper assist in a sportage which is half the price half the price how early now i'm say this that's exploitation that's extortion that is just no man that it's borderline illegal it's borderline illegal i'm sorry it's illegal <laughs> but yeah those are the downside what else no ambient lighting obviously is nice boot space is nice it's a very nice car but I think I would be more inclined on an iX3 because I feel like it's a bit bigger, higher, looks a bit more conventional because I really am not a huge fan of how this one looks. Uh, yeah. Welcome to the EQB, courtesy of myself, River S, Kumbi M on Cars, and Carlot, JJ, Arsenio Hall, Jack of all trades, master of none. Jack of all trades. Okay, so Kumbi, what do you think? Yeah, there's a lot of space back here. Yes, there's a lot of space back here. I'm impressed with the space. It's my first time in the EQB, actually. You didn't drive it on those drives? Um, I was not there. Um, my brother attended one, that for me. Um, but it's like, it's so impressive, yeah. the space. And also because obviously the batteries are like flat. You've got this, yeah, got a whatever. lot of space. Yeah, yeah. whereas you see, we're in the normal combustion engine car, it's like a bit high. Mm. So this is quite cool, I won't lie. Yeah. I like it. This is dope. It is Driving nice. impressions, it is amazing. It is soft. Two electric motors, one in the back and one in front, four wheel drive, 400 kilometer range, and yeah, man. Oh, that's impressive. Yeah, yeah, it is. I think it's on par with iX3, no? Yeah, but yeah, iX3 it's was on par the same. With IX3, yeah. It's just that iX3 will show you the three something, but then. Mm. Yeah. Cool. More than that. Mm. yeah, but I think for pricing wise, it's a bit ridiculous. 1.4 bar, all right? Mm -hmm. No adaptive cruise control, no lane mm -hmm. keep assist. Rev cameras are a bit off in terms of you only have a rear camera mm. um, so it starts from 1.4 no 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 it starts from one point this one is the formatic 1.347 so it's <laughs> look man it's not bad but yeah, i feel like there's a lot that's bad. omitted it's not bad i think that um sure the luxuries you're mentioning are omitted but it's not bad Co considering that in probably a conventional c-class which has a mild hybrid you get a thousand kilometers on the c220d you have all of those things ticked and you're paying 400k less if you get what i mean in terms of this in the climate that we're in now yes electric vehicles have a purpose but i think if you're walking into mercedes for now c-class is the best buy that's true it's Especially the best thing since sliced bread because that's here true. still need the wall box still need to plan your routes whatever it's a bit of a logistical nightmare and Touch i get and but the drive is amazing whatever but i think if you're walking into mercedes opt for a c220d for now for and now, then right. when everything you captured by that car yeah it was captured by I the captured car by the <laughs> but i like it you know what the main selling point? Yeah. but the main selling point is that kilom that range a thousand one point two you can mm. dog you can go to durban and back one yeah true you know, but okay, for so the daily commute, this, this is number one. Oh my word! <laughs> <laughs> yo, 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 yo. All that talk just came out yo, of nowhere, yo, bruh! Yo, yo, yo! This thing I was busy like waving at people in the back. <laughs> and then I just told you, yo, yo, 
Yeah, my phone like went on. Yeah, that is wild. Yeah, yeah man, but wild. electric. Yeah, that is the nice thing about electric. Yeah, electric you get all the talk at one. Whatever it is. Like, yeah, and the, the nice thing is that there's no gears, there's no gear changes, so it's just constant, like. Mm -hmm. None of that rev range. And Bubble is in it. The guy moga paga ni kuli za tenu. Yeah, ba. It's a twin B. Ah, it's a twin B. Come on. Come on. Like already five cars. Where now? Where are they? Pull there. Five cars. Where this? Oh, there. Wait. Where the seventh car? Bra. We legit the seventh car. Where the seventh car? I thought they were capping, bra. Anyway, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This was my first joint review with the gang. Kumbi, check him out. Instagram, Twitter. This guy, Carlot, and myself. Bye, guys. See you. Cheers. And from me, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this review. Short, sweet, concise. Love it. I'm nominated for an award. Oh my gosh, I can't believe it. I'll tell you guys how the voting process goes. I don't know yet, also, but I feel so blessed and so honored. But yeah, exciting. <laughs> Thank you so much, Puma Seva. I love you guys so much. I will see you in the next one. Bye bye.